Hello everybody, welcome back. I've been getting a few questions from a lot of doctors asking me if it is possible to fabricate a bleaching tray chair side and deliver it to the patient at the same appointment. So let us go ahead and take a look at how a bleaching tray can be fabricated chair side. Now what I have here is the patient's model which was poured out of an impression taken earlier. To make a bleaching tray or a bite guard, we don't need the model with a base but what is more important is that all the excess has been trimmed away from the model. This will ensure that we do not have any interference while fabricating or retrieving the tray. We need to have the models in a horseshoe shape for the vacuum to act effectively. We can then begin with adding some blockout resin onto the label surfaces of the teeth on the dried cast. This will help us create a reservoir or a space for bleaching material to be held inside. It also prevents direct contact of the tray with the teeth, thereby preventing any forces on them. Also notice that I am a good millimetre short of the gingival margin and the incisal edges. This is important as you do not want any bleach to contact the gingival tissue. We can then light cure the raisin. I'll just wipe it with some alcohol swabs to remove the oxygen inhibited layer. Now this is what the vacuum former looks like. It has a heating unit on top and the platform where the cast will sit. It also has this frame where the bleaching sheet is positioned. It has two switches, one for the heater and one for the vacuum. We keep the model on the platform and have selected a soft bleaching tray sheet which I am going to place in the frame and clamp it into place. The heating unit is then positioned in place and the heater is started. You can see that because of the heat, the sheet starts to sag. Once it sags to around an inch, the heat must be turned off and it's time to start off the vacuum and get the clamp down on the cast. You can see how it is closely adapted to the cast. After a couple of minutes, we can turn off the vacuum and it is very important to let the tray cool down before retrieving the model. Now I'll just take a marker and mark the gingival margins on the facial aspect and this is going to be a reference when I'm cutting the tray. On the palatal side, we can cut the tray along a straight line. Cut it along the markings with a sharp pair of curved scissors. We now evaluate the tray for any rough edges and perfect fit. The tray is then disinfected and it is ready to be delivered to the patient. The patient must be instructed to add just a drop of bleach on the facial surface. It's important to not add excess material to avoid damage to the gingival tissue. Like, share and subscribe for more videos. This is Dr. Mahesh Jagwani signing off. See you next week.